Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share a roundup of patterns and fabrics from the Sewing Bee Series 9 Episode 3 International Week. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. Also do jump on and sign up to our newsletter. There's a link below and you'll receive a weekly dose of inspiration to your inbox. So International Week, absolutely loved it. There might be some sort of slight spoilers in this video. So if you haven't watched it and you, you don't want to know anything, probably best to watch it first, but I won't give away any major information. Just talk around the tasks. But I didn't think I would feel that inspired to make some of the garments in this episode. I just thought, oh, they're not really my style, not maybe something I would wear. Um, but how wrong I was. Um, they The made to measure challenge, the, some of the gowns, that were produced in that were oh so beautiful I felt so excited and desperate to go out and make one um, so yeah let's get started first of all though with the pattern challenge which was to make a Batakari tunic which is a West African um, garment it's like a loose fitting um, sleeveless design it had go days on the bodice and um, there were also pockets and then a complicated neckline and it was one of those garments that I looked at and thought oh that doesn't look too bad that looks fairly straightforward and then when you saw technically what the bees had to do how the, the precision that had to go into it to get everything to line up properly actually I can see why it was a challenge um, and there were some great garments produced but I think quite a few people struggled with it as well it was really interesting um, but the, I found three tunic patterns that I think are really wearable that are kind of along those sorts of lines. Um, the first one being the Kent Woven Tunic by Style Arc. Love Style Arc patterns, beautiful in their simplicity, um, also a really inclusive size range. So we do the full range on our site, but I'll pop a link to this pattern and the fabric below as I will for all of them. But this, this one goes up to a size 30, which is a 58 and a quarter burst, 50 and a half waist and a 61 hip. And it's got a little granddad collar, it's got a continuous placket on the front, which I did do a tutorial how to sew a continuous placket a while back on the channel. So I'll try and remember to pop a link to that below for you. Um, and it's got a relatively loose fitting sort of tunic style bodice. It's got a billowy sort of bishop sleeve that um, goes into a cuff. And then it's got a yoke on the back with some little gathers underneath it. And I just thought it's a great summer top. It just looked something that you could just chuck on and be feel really effortless and airy and cool and I thought it would look really pretty sewn up in our simple Swiss dot cotton fabric um, which is kind of like if you haven't worked with Swiss dot before you should it's really pretty because it's kind of got like a sort of sheer semi sheer um, look to it so very light and airy and perfect for summer we do do it in a few other colors as well so you can check those out I'm going to pop links to everything below for you the next pattern I wanted to share is Simplicity 9333. So this is another tunic pattern. I think this one's a bit more Batakari actually than the last one because it's a bit more oversized. Um, it's got really sort of wide sleeves. Obviously you could make it sleeveless if you wanted to really be in keeping with the Batakari style. Um, it's got a really nice uh, neck band that finishes the neckline and then gathers at the points. Um, and yeah, quite an oversized shape. Looks like it would be a relatively simple sew. I think the concentration bit would have to be on that neck band, getting that nice and neat. Um, it runs up to a 24, which is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. And the fabric I thought would work really well for that is our, just our plain linen cotton fabric. Um, it's got enough drape and movement that it would work well for that sort of, but it has got a little bit of, you know, it's not overly drapey. So it would have a little bit of structure and body, which I think would work really well on that top. I think that's the sort of thing they've used on the pattern packet. And this comes in a range of colors. I'll pop a link below for you. 
um, but I thought that would work really well for that one and that would look really nice just paired with some simple shorts or jeans um, for sort of casual everyday wear another top that you could just chuck on and not really have to think much about I think some nice chunky jewelry with that as well and then just yeah very simple indigo jeans would look really nice big chunky gold necklace or some chunky gold earrings chunky um, sandals I think that would look great and then the last Batakari inspired pattern I wanted to share is Simplicity 9130. This has got a sleeveless version and a version with sleeves. It's also got a skirt and trousers with it. Um, there's options for a sort of granddad style collar again, but I thought the neckline was very similar to the Batakari on this one as well. Um, it's sort of like a slice out of the top of the out of the front of the body, um, very very similar to the Batakari into a V. There are bust starts to give it a little bit of shape if you like a more fitted silhouette and the bodice doesn't look as oversized as the previous designs, a bit more fitted. Um, this one runs up to a size 28, so another really inclusive pattern size wise. Um, that's a 50 bust, 44 waist and 52 hip. And the fabric, I thought that would look lovely in another linen cotton mix, all about the linen cottons at the moment because it's summer. Um, some days here in the UK it's summer, other days it seems to go back to like October, which is a bit random, but you know, we're rolling with it and I want to be ready with those summer makes in my wardrobe for those hot days to celebrate that little bit of warmth when we get it. Um, but yeah, I thought this lovely linen cotton stripe fabric in this really sort of cool blue um, with a white stripe, I thought that would look really stylish sewn up into that tunic pattern. Um, and again, just lovely and cool and easy to wear for the summer. So on to the made to measure task, um, which was to make a boo-boo, um, which is, I think it's a I think it was a Ghanaian um, inspired gown, um, but basically a sort of really oversized, maxi, um, big sleeve drama sort of gown, really lots of flowing, beautiful, drapey fabrics, um, and just totally reminded me of proper sort of 70s Hollywood glamour, like sort of Jackie Onassis sort of big sunglasses and retro prints, that sort of thing. I really, I felt really inspired. Um, by this task and some of the stuff the bees made I can't believe they made it in the time some of the sewing that they did how neat it was and how well things matched up and just the choices of fabrics there was loads of gorgeous African wax print fabric um, it really beautiful beautiful designs on this one so it got me very excited and inspired so there's a few patterns I've chosen out to recreate this look. The first one is Butterick 6900, um, which is a maxi dress pattern with the definite boo-boo style, really big sleeve drama. It's got a V-neck. There's options for like a short tunic top. There's an option for um, a sort of mid-thigh dress. And then there's an option for the maxi dress as well. I think this would work great as well as a pool cover-up for holiday. Um, I've got a dress quite similar to this actually that I wear on holiday by the pool. Um, so I definitely think it's really wearable and um, it runs up to a size 26, which is a 48 burst, 41 hip and 50 waist and you want to make that in a nice drapey flowy fabric and I just thought our uh, viscose chalet fabric which I absolutely love with the leopard print design and then the floral design on top of that I love it when they combine two prints in a fabric like this I thought that would be absolutely perfect for that dress and definite sort of holiday vibes I could see me wearing that by the pool for sure the next pattern I wanted to share is the Named Ilma Smock Dress and Top. So it's by Named Clothing. Um, one of the bees decided to sew a sleeveless um, boo-boo inspired dress, um, which I wasn't expecting. So it was an off the shoulder. Um, and it was just absolutely stunning. I loved it. It was just so beautiful. The fabric she used was beautiful. It just had massive drama. And I think that was the thing about these gowns. It was just the, you know, the volume of the fabric and the flow and the drape of it. Um, just really inspiring. I loved it. Um, so anyway, the named um, smock dress and top by um, the Ilma smock dress and top. It's an off the shoulder design. 
it's elasticated and gathered across the top there then a very loose fitting bodice with a wide panel ruffle at the hem and then elasticated um, sort of sleeves that come down sort of the mid forearm um, but then you can also make a, a strappy top with it as well which has got elasticated gathered straps um, I thought you could easily lengthen this into a maxi if you wanted to but just another great summer dress um, holiday dress I remember a few years ago seeing a girl um, I was in northern Spain wearing a dress this style in like a really pretty pale blue cotton fabric um, and she just looks so unbelievably glamorous and laid, but laid back she had like little gold sandals on I just remember taking inspiration from it and thinking I really want a dress like that in my wardrobe she looks amazing um, it runs up to an XXL which is a 51 and 5 eighths bust a 45 and a quarter waist and a 54 and 3 quarter hip so another really nice size inclusive one the fabric I would be tempted to make that up in is our plain linen cotton again so I showed you this one earlier but we have got a lovely sort of hot pink colour um, which I think would work brilliantly for that name design we've sold out and it's it's on its way into us so it'll be back in stock very very soon um, by the time this video is oh no because this video is going to be released very quickly but yeah it's going to be back in stock very very soon but there's lots of other colours to choose from as well and again I just thought that little bit of structure and body that that linen cotton mix has got would just give it that volume and that's what it was all about last night on the show the next pattern I wanted to share was the Simplicity um, sort of retro inspired pattern 8505 1970s vintage definite boo-boo vibe so you've got one view which is more fitted has got almost like the Batakari style neckline to it um, with the sort of V slit down the front a wide sleeve and then it's also got a lovely slit up the front as well um, I love the styling on the packet they've um, sort of put a border trim around the neckline the cuffs and then up that slit at the front and around the hem just so super stylish and gorgeous um, but then the really boo-boo inspired design is the other view which has got a v-neck it's got a waistband with gathers and um, under the bust and at the waist and then it's got the real sort of full drama sleeve which is sort of like joined to the bodice and runs all the way down to the hem real proper 70s glamour absolutely love it um, goes up to a 42 bust 34 waist and 44 hip and the fabric I thought that one would look great sewn up in is this beautiful beautiful cotton lawn um, in like a very sort of retro print I thought it would look so lovely sewn up in that it's got lovely drape and movement lovely original design I just absolutely love this print and I thought that would work brilliantly for that one and then finally the last pattern I wanted to share um, which is very similar to something one of the bees made might even be the pattern they used was simplicity 9323 um, so it's got the main bodice and then the sleeves again it's got that full length sleeve drama the sleeves go all the way to the hem on the maxi versions there's also a shorter version um, you've got the option for a little waist tie to draw it in at the waist a bit if you want to or you can leave it free and flowing there's an option for a little bridge across the V at the top as well which is the design detail that one of the bees went for um, it runs up to a size 24 which is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip and I thought that would look fabulous sewn up in another one of our cotton lawns which I've just seen a beautiful sundress sewn up in this um, by one of my friends on Instagram and it looked absolutely gorgeous it was really sort of lovely and drapey she's in um, Italy in Florence at the moment it's boiling hot um, and it looked like this was the perfect perfect thing for her to be wearing in that heat so yeah thought it'd make make it beautifully in simplicity 9323 so I hope you enjoyed that little roundup. I'll pop a link to our blog post below because there's more ideas in there. We're doing giveaways on Instagram as well. We're all over the Sewing Bee action this year. We're loving it. So do stay tuned. I'll be here every week with more inspiration and ideas. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.